Jen BJ here with the Cheek Peak, and today we're going to be doing a full body workout that includes a warm up and a cool down. So, for this workout, we're going to be going through five groups of three exercises for just one set each. Our working time is 45 seconds, our break time is 15 seconds. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. Okay. We have about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. The first exercise we're going to go into is a bodyweight squat with an arm raise. So, feet about shoulder width apart here, arms out, dropping down, coming up. There we go. A couple seconds. So, dropping down, coming up. Go at your own pace. If you can't go down all the way on the squat, that's totally fine. Just go down as far as you can. Keeping the back straight, chest out, head up. We got arm swings forwards and back loops here. Nice and easy on these. Try to warm the shoulders up, chest openers. Coming up next. Slide down the elbows. Open up the chest as you come across. Try to stretch out the back. This one always feels good. Mm -hmm. It's just not going to stop. All right, we're going to the mornings next right here. So we're going to bend and actually bend at the lower back a little bit here. Come down and back up. Slide bend in the knees. We're going to a trunk twist next. So feet wide, rotating at the core. Don't forget to breathe. Is that your back popping? No, those are my knees. Oh, how are your knees popping? My shoulders, I'm saying they crack a lot. <laughs> pop. <laughs> also, in toe touch kicks here, coming out. Try to keep the back straight and bring the foot up instead of kind of bending over like that. I'm a client, but I keep my back straight. <laughs> Sorry. It's good though. Kind of alternating lateral lunges coming up. So feet wide, dropping down to the side, coming up, switching sides. Again, try to go down as far as you can. It's okay to start with half reps, moving into deeper reps. Arm circles next. So, those out, couple of nice small circles, and moving into larger circles. We'll reverse it. We we'll go with the big circles on the reverse and slowly come back down to small circles. 20 seconds. We got the fun stuff starting off sumo squats. So with our bands, we we'll put the bands out right here. Step on the ends and then grab them right here. The 45 second working times. Don't get ready. Drop it down. Coming up. Make sure the back is straight. Chest out, head up. Sink down as far as you can. If it begins to get too tough, when you have dumbbells, you can always drop one dumbbell. The bands, if you have multiple bands, you can always just let go of one. If it's still too tough, you can drop your dumbbells, drop your bands, and just go by it. Come on. Let's get one more. Here we go. RDLs. Side bending the knees here. Then we're going to pinch up the hips. Go up on the bands. Go pinching up the hips. Sinking the butt back, hands stay close to the shins. Oh, my hamstrings are actually a little sore today. 
you know, squats the other day. Breathe. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. One more. Rough shrugs coming up. If the dumbbells are just going to stand normally, feet a little closer than shoulder width. Bands are going to get our feet nice and wide. Heat up those bands. And then our shoulders come up to the ears, not our head down. We're not doing this business. Like that, keeping our head up, bringing the shoulders up. There we go. Push it out, come on. Embrace that burn. Watch out, vampire. Ready? Yep. Oh. Not quite yet. 30-second break. Then we got push-ups or chest press. Uh, same defense. Lying chest press on your back. Bends. You can do chest press. You stand. I'm going to try push-ups. Bro. Pushing out. Just we'll do like push-ups too. If you can do push-ups, go for push-ups. If you're going to drop to the knees, you're starting on the knees, take breaks, whatever. Just try it. Very good. That's for my chest. Here we go. So coming down and up. Get your hands right. There we go. So as you come down, your hands should be slightly, your palms should be like right at the bottom of your chest. They should not be up your shoulder. You should not be coming down like way up here. You should be down here instead. If you're on your toes and it gets too tough, you drop down to the knees. Take a press. <laughs> and if it's, if it's still too tough, you can always drop down the chest, give it a one two count, press up, back down, one two count, up and down. There we go. One in the rows, left side. Typically, I'm going to see it with the band, but I'll know I'm standing up here. Okay. <laughs> so, left side, bands under the right foot, right here. So we're using our free hand to brace our lower back. These longer working times. If it feels a little too easy, just kind of pull the bands out from under your foot. The palm should be facing towards the body right now. Just kind of pulling back to whatever feels natural. Oh, that adjustment. That was a good one. If you want, you can also mainly dumbbells. It's a little tougher with bands. But if you want, you can bring your elbow down like that. Works better with dumbbells. Bands here kind of lose a lot of that length you need to keep them, keep the tension there. So, rose right side. Palm faces towards the body. Here we go. Push it out. Ten seconds. Brace the breath. There we go. Thirty seconds. We're going in the shoulder press. Ooh, those burned. Forty-five second working times. Yeah. 
Always fun. Right here for Vance, we're going to drop down to a knee here, unless you're relatively short. I'm right at six foot. The bands are not long enough to go all the way up. Palms out in front of us. Coming up, going down. Up and down. We're keeping the elbows slightly in front of the shoulders at all times. We don't want our elbows pulled back like that. Doesn't have to be crazy in front like this. Just a little bit. It's too tough. You always alternate left and right. There we go. Feeling the burn, huh? Oh, oh yeah. Shoulder press always gets me. Oh, I think it gets everybody. Oh. <laughs> You're all alone. Ugh. Woo! Static lunges. Left side is gonna be fun. So, bends, left foot out in front. Big wide stance. We're gonna hold this stance the entire time. We're just dropping down, up, down, up. Here we go. We're just gonna burn up that left leg. If it gets too tough with weight, you can always drop weight. And if you need, drop both. Just try to keep going. Do whatever you can or whatever you have to do to keep going. Don't give up. Don't quit. Little break, extended break, fine. Quitting, not fine. Let's go. Switching sides. You know, there's only been like one workout where I truly wanted to quit. Really? And that was the one where we started with the forward and reverse lunges. Oh. Oh. After that, my legs are pure jello. Little secret, we did quit. <laughs> <laughs> but first time we killed. <laughs> did we? Yeah. We're like, oh no. We, we had to mentally prepare for that one. Oh, I think we had like too much weight. We didn't know. Uh, we started off, we so, came out strong. Sometimes I Thank you. come up with these exercises and they're great exercises, but you're not prepared for the amount of resistance. You might not need because it's just such a tough exercise to begin with. That was one of those moments. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my legs were sore for days. I think I started off with like 25s. Have to go to body weight. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got pike push ups for the push ups. Bands, they're going to do incline chest press. Don't know if you're going to do the decline chest press unless you're at the bench. So, incline with the bands, the seers pushing up to the head. Some bells, Jen, gotcha. Get that glute bridge going on. Ladies, this is a good one for you. You want to work the booty? Can we add in a glute bridge too? Yeah, sure. One more. You do you. So, fight push up, butt up in the air, coming down, touch the chin, back up. Pushing on knees. I can have a wider grip than normal for me. I also compare all my grips to like my normal flat bench, bench press grip. Once I go to incline bench press, I tend to like have a wider grip. Come on. There we go. Push it out. Let's go. Couple seconds. Oh, yeah. Oh, ah, 15 seconds. Overhead tricep extension. We're just coming to show you some love. You got to your bed and pull her knee up. Is that your bed? Overhead tricep. All right, so. Band step through, up and around. It's just going to be in a single or on a single foot here. And I put my thumb through the hands. Good. A little moved over here. So keep the elbows high. Now oh, my triceps are exceptionally tired. There we go. 
Come on. Keep pushing. Let's go. It's not supposed to be easy. We're supposed to struggle. Let's go. One more. Here we go. That was a struggle. All right, front raise. Nice light weight here. Oh, man. So, we're going to bring our arms out in front of us and then back down. Oh, That's fine. You can alternate these. Totally fine. One at a time. Arms are only coming to about parallel. You go a little bit past parallel, but you don't want to be going like all the way up like that. You want to give them a nice little hold. Oh, you can. A little quick hold. Embrace the burn. Say, hey, how you doing? I'm back down. See you soon. Back up. Oof. Come on. Oof. Oof. One more. Ah, there we go. Bicep curls. Now we get the fun stuff here. Look at your second. Step on the back with one or both feet. Palms face out. Right here, coming up. Back down. We got 15 seconds left on this break. Grab some water. I have my little stuff towel similar. I'm going to put it up right now. All right, let's get it right there. Moving up and down. Up and down. If it gets too difficult, alternating is like the first option with most things. If alternating is maybe a little too easy, what you could do is do a left, right, both, and then keep doing that left, right, both. Hey, buddy. Oh. Okay. You know, Tess, you still waking up nice and early? Well, not early, you're not 8 15. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Here we go, reverse grip rows, left side here. Do these. We're going to set up the same as the normal rows, except our palm is going to be facing out away from us. The elbow is going to be tucked into the body. There we go. And now we're pulling more up and back. So we're kind of pulling to the hip instead of more of the waist, which we were on the others. Let me show inside this. So more here versus here. So reverse grip rows more down. We're pulling down and back. Oh. Oh, feeling right here. There we go. Oh. 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 One more. Switch the sides. Wrist grip row, right side. Couple seconds. <laughs> Here we go. I thought it was gonna be. I knew it was gonna be. Oh. Remember, palm faces out, elbow stays close to the body, pulling back and kind of down. Oh. Exhale as you pull back, inhale as you bring your hand back down. There we go. Oh. Oh. I'm so tired of it. Once the tricep gets tired, you're like, okay, I gotta change this out. Oh. These 12s were pretty good. I got the next little pink dumbbells for Jen. There we go. 15 seconds, we're going in. Start folding. Good stuff. We're going to do a 90 90. Left side first. So be down on the ground here. Left leg out in front. Need a 90. Right leg to the side. Out of 90. We're going to lean forward. There we go. 
Let me tell you just immediately. I'm just full over. I don't even think I can like put on I don't mean I'm more flexible. Oh. <laughs> no. Nope. I'm just bending in my back. The back's actually relatively straight. Switching sides. Apparently I'm gonna do these for like three minutes each. The whole workout is just flexibility. No. <laughs> Definitely pulling you. Feel it. Try to push into that stretch. Only thirty seconds, so try to really push into it. Stretch it out. I know this is a cool down, but sometimes these are equally as tough as the actual exercises. Let me focus on oh, hip flexor stretch. Left side. Or into here, right leg goes out, left knee is down, use that left glute, sink the hips towards that front heel while maintaining the glute squeeze back there. If you want, you can put the hands up right here, push, you can lean away from the knee that is down. Really feel the stretch now. Oh. Switching sides. Left leg up, right leg down. Squeeze the right glute. Sink the hips. And if you want, you put the hands up. Get to breathe. Yeah. 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 There we go. Seated saddle. Probably gonna fall a bit on this one. <laughs> we're gonna be on our knees. We're just gonna try to sit down onto our heels. It's not the easiest for me with the, the knee injuries. My left knee doesn't bend. One of the videos in this 31 days of series I show. I just can't remember which one. Because I film them out of order. My right leg can go all the way down, my left one not so much. This is really just stretching my left leg. But we're still stretching it. Right, we have a standing hamstring stretch for the last one here. We're just gonna bend at the hips, stretching out the hamstrings. Kind of like the RDM, we're gonna have straight legs. This time coming out, trying to keep the back straight at first, feeling the hamstring stretch. Once you feel that good stretch, if you want, you can lean forward. Just don't go into it kind of like this, not really stretching the hamstrings. So like you're gonna extend it first, nice and elongated, and then you can bend. 15 seconds. Four seconds. Oh yeah. That was the biggest burn of the day for me right there. Hamstring are tight. <laughs> Way to go today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>